Welcome to the Family Book Club podcast with Elizabeth Samsetti. When it comes to relationship, most especially for those that are married, and even those that are yet to be married, there comes very general reasons why one, one partner needs to be away, needs to travel, needs to be distant from the other. Obviously, most times it's because of work or business. I know it's really very scary for a lot of people, and yes, it's not advisable. I personally counsel people, uh, those in relationships, those relationships that, that are in courtship, and even the newly married. I uh, normally counsel them that by all means, by all means, as much as possible, if it's within what you know, what they can do or what they can prevent, they, sh they should not uh, be distant away from each other. Because they need time to cuddle, they need time to get to know each other. Even you know, after mostly for the middle work, they need time to to get to really understand one another. So staying away, um, that distance, um, yeah, it's like I said, it's not really what we counsel couples to do or those in close relationships to do. But when it comes, I mean. When uh, your office duty calls, you have to answer and respond to it. When you have a good business deal, that you're going to have a very big breakthrough. You have no choice but to go ahead to, to honor your company, your employer, and uh, your associates. You know, when, it's, when whatever it is, once it is that this is what is beyond your control, you cannot but take the trip. Fine. There's no cost for alarm. What you should do when you are distance away is that you should call each other often. Okay, it's very important to call each other often. Yeah. When you say when I say call each other often, I'm talking about uh, make your calls, talk to each other, try as much as possible to talk to each other in the mornings and at night. In the mornings, that will mean that before you go about your, your, your daily activity, your business, or to the office. You make it when you wake up, you make it a part of your early morning duties. Call your spouse, your partner to find out how they are doing. Make it a routine. And at the same time, after your day is good, because normally when you're together, you, you come back home, you ask each other how you, the day went. So you should be able to also talk on the phone and ask uh, your spouse or your partner how their day was. Go back and visit your spouse regularly, as regular as possible. Maybe two weeks, one month. It depends on how. The, how much time you have, how much uh, time you have in your place of work, you can, how much uh, uh, time of permission, how, the, how much permission you can get, you, the access you can get to go visit your spouse. And um, it's also very important for you to set aside um, emergency money, the resources for you to, in case there is an emergency at home, so that. Um, you will not have an emergency and uh, you are stranded with cash, you are not able to make it. It's, it's always good to set apart, set apart um, the cash or some funds so that you can take an uh, emergency trip to see your spouse. Also, I will, like I always say, if it's something that uh, make it as snappy as possible, yes, you may, you may have a job or business that is taking you away for one month, for two months, three months, six months, at times even as long as a year. Okay, but make sure that the moment you are done with whatever it is that you are doing, you get back home and you know get united with your family as soon as possible. Also, it is advisable that your, your spouse comes to wherever it is that you have traveled to for to do your business or to work to visit you. It's, don't forget that uh, visiting, traveling is part of education. So it's fun even outside the home. It's very really very interesting when you have your spouse. Or your partner come over to visit you away from home you know you have time to catch up you have a lot of catching up to do and spend good and quality time together it's it's, it's good all right and um, another thing is ensure when you have uh, anything you are not comfortable maybe you are on phone you are making time work for the technology these days it's not just this if you can do something beyond phone calls you can do something beyond phone calls you can do video calls and all that and paraventure you are talking or you are video calling and you notice anything any irregularities or you are you are sensing whatever it is please talk about it communication at this point where you have where you, 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 you are in a distant relationship communication is even more key than when you are living together please always talk to each other always find out what it is if you have any suspicion about anything 
talk to your spouse, ask questions. What is this? Okay, I thought I heard this. I thought I saw this. Okay, what is this about? Or even if someone else, a neighbor, a family member comes to tell you about your spouse, to say, your partner to say this is what it is this is what it is please confront them don't keep it to your mind when you keep it to your mind you'll be breaking your heart you'll be hurting and you will be resentful to your spouse you will not be free to be able to talk and communicate with them so that the little time you have to communicate you can enjoy that time together all right yes another thing is that we should there's something called sexting sexting we are like we are sure we all know, mostly the young ones know what I'm talking about. We are sending chats and sending messages and texting your spouse to say some good romantic, have some good romantic words that will make them feel good, let them know you still love them, you care about them, you want to be with them, you want them to be with you, and all that. It ignites the relationship, even though you may be distant, but it will, you know, put some kind of fire in it and give them some kind of um, a sense of uh, confidence and. Um, and a sense of belonging that yes this is my spouse this is my love even though i'm not around they, they want to be with me i want to be with them too they, they, they miss me and that it's very very important that when our, our, our partners are married we always let them know how much don't just keep it to yourself and begin to suffocate yourself just always let them your spouse know how much you need them how much you miss them how much you want to be with them and how much you want them to be around it is not true that distance relationship all distance relationships are most of them work. It takes determination. You have to be determined. You have to be. You have to be very, very deliberate about making it work. Don't let. Even if yes, there are times when when temptation will come in. Wherever, yeah, they are humans. Everybody is human. You are, you are human. Your spouse is human. But your consistency in, in talking to each other, in your relationship, in your communication, your talk, morning and night, in your you know sex thing and all that it goes a long way even if any any naughty idea comes to their head by the time you always remind them from time to time how much you need them around how much you love them and appreciate them they will know that yes you know they will not want to go mess up and tamper with their relationship so please anyone that is listening to me that has or that is in any kind of distance relationship put in your best try as much as possible to make it work it does work my name is elizabeth samson